2021 Genesis G80 Review, Epic Ascension. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. When Hyundai launched its first luxury product in the United States, your author was on the front lines, delivering those early Genesis sedans to the media. But nothing at the time, neither the excellent Lexicon audio systems nor the charming 4.6-liter V8 engines, could have prepared me for where we're at 13 years later. Genesis is a full-fledged luxury brand now, a concept that in itself would have seemed farcical in the late 2000s. Moreover, pretty much every vehicle it sells is excellent. That's especially true of the new Genesis G80, the successor to that original Hyundai Genesis and, technically, the second car to bear the name. This is a relaxed and refined luxury sedan with avant-garde styling, effortless tech, and the kind of soothing driving experience sportier alternatives have largely abandoned. We base our vehicle ratings on a car's direct competition, but I'd argue that the Genesis G80's perfect design score extends well beyond midsize premium sedans. To my eye, this is one of the most attractive four doors on the market, full stop. At the very least, it's the most attractive car in a segment that includes the Mercedes-Benz E-Class, BMW 5 Series, Audi A6, Volvo S90, and Jaguar XF. That's due in large part to the bold and occasionally contrasting touches that came from a design team led by Belgian talent Luc Donkerwolk, of Lamborghini Gallardo fame. The fascia design is inspired. Pairing a polarizing shield nose grille with twin bar headlights, which neatly bleed into the fenders in one of the most fascinating design touches in recent memory. The long hood fits perfectly with the fastback roofline and the camback rear end, accentuating the car's rear drive platform without shouting about it. Meanwhile, the back of the car recalls the front with a concave vertical section, twin exhausts that each mimic the grille shape, and twin bar taillights that wrap around the fenders and live on the same horizontal plane as the fender lights and headlights. The cohesion of the overall exterior design is stunning. Also, Genesis wheel game is on point, these 19-inch alloys are gorgeous. Where the outside of the G80 wows with unconventional touches, the interior follows a more formulaic approach that instead relies on high-quality materials and attractive detailing to impress occupants. Knurled metal surfaces abound, while matte wood and white contrast stitching balance out the substantial amounts of black leather in this test unit. The overall interior design strikes a minimalist note without feeling spartan. The controls for the climate system are blissfully physical, but rely on a display to show air distribution. It's a balance of function and form that BMW pioneered, but which Genesis has mastered. The stylish four-spoke steering wheel is a joy to hold, while Genesis designers deserve praise for how they integrated the wide, semi-recessed 14.5-inch display into the dash. Are there things to critique here? Sure. The master buttons that sit above the climate controls are from the Hyundai parts bin, and the fact that the instrument cluster is a mix of physical dials with an offset display feels like a cop-out. Those are small issues though, especially when the broader interior is so good. The G80's luxury bona fides are plenty obvious when we look at its comfort score. This sedan exhibits excellent sound control, with very little wind, road, tire, or engine noise entering the cabin during normal driving. Exercise the turbocharged four-cylinder engine and some of that serenity vanishes, but there's rarely a good reason to push the powertrain.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.